be whatever your username is. So don't let that confuse you. So moving on to the next column, I'm gonna click on a folder called movies, and then I'm gonna click on a folder called motion templates. If you're using the newest version of Final Cut, this folder likely will be empty. I have seen previous versions of Final Cut where actually Final Cut made a bunch of folders already. Um, if those folders already exist and you're looking at the screen and you're already seeing some folders, just navigate over to the folder that says titles and you're gonna kind of continue on uh, with the tutorial by putting stuff in that folder. Um, but if you're looking at the, your screen and it looks a lot like mine, I'm on this motion templates folder and there's nothing in this folder, right? Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna make a new folder and I'm gonna call this titles. It could be all uppercase, lowercase. You can call it whatever you want. For this tutorial, I'm calling it titles. So I'm in titles and there's nothing in here. So once you make this folder, I'm actually gonna go over and I'm gonna double click on the area wherever you have your film title saved. I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna navigate over to Final Cut and you see film titles. I'm actually gonna hit Command C or copy. You could also hit right click and go copy that way as well. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna navigate back over to where, you know, remember movies, motion templates, titles, and titles was the folder you made. And like I said, if you're using your version of Final Cut, you may already have a folder pre-made by Final Cut that says titles, but in this instance, I made a folder called titles and I'm gonna click within that folder and I'm actually gonna hit right click and paste. Uh, so that's gonna paste the film titles folder. The reason I do that opposed to having these in this folder is you know, you in the future, you might buy title packs from us or other people. And that way this film titles or cinematic titles, whichever one you're using, you want that to be like kind of the, the hierarchy. You know, you want all the titles to be within the pack that they are. So this film titles one, uh, I would recommend keeping that title there and then having all the other ones within it. So this next step, definitely listen closely. Um, because if you were just to exit out right now and open up Final Cut again, these titles are actually not gonna show up in Final Cut. It's a little complicated, um, but not too bad. We're gonna, I'm gonna walk you through it step by step, is basically, since we made this folder, this folder isn't really linked or synced up to Final Cut. Final Cut's not talking to this folder that we made. And the reason for that is, there's an extension kind of underneath the folder that needs to be added. So for example, this motion templates folder was already here, right? We didn't make this folder. So if I right click and actually hit get info, you're gonna see an extension under name and extensions. And if you don't see that, just click this little arrow and you're gonna see it says dot localized, period localized. I'm actually just gonna hit command C on the Mac and copy that. And then if you go over, we made this folder, right? This uh, titles folder. Um, I'm gonna right click on that and go get info and you're gonna see there is no extension. So I'm gonna hit Command V to paste. And now this folder, by adding the dot localized in the extension, is now gonna ping and talk to Final Cut, and Final Cut's gonna recognize this titles folder, and that way anything you put in this titles folder is gonna be updated within Final Cut. So all you gotta do, you don't even have to hit save, you just hit this little red X. Now the titles and the film titles are ready to go. So I'm gonna exit out of this, exit out of this, and I'm gonna open up Final Cut again. And you can see right here, film titles. And if you have all the fonts installed, you're gonna see you can work with these right away. So I'm actually gonna drag this one right above. And yeah, you can see right off the jump, you are able to you know, see that the title is working. And all you gotta do is you just navigate over to the left and you can see this uh, purple T. Um, that's gonna allow you to you know, change a few things. So I'm gonna basically, you, know, you can change the color if you wanted, which is really cool. So yeah, and you can change all these parameters. You can change the scale, which is really cool. So obviously I have some anamorphic footage. So, you know, you may need to scale up or down depending on the footage. Cause yeah, these titles were built in a, you know, kind of preset canvas size, I think of, of 4K. So if you're using 8K footage or maybe you're using 1080 footage, these titles might be coming in really huge for you or really small. So all you gotta do is just go over to the scale all and kind of adjust it to taste. So since I shot on anamorphic and I've got some widescreen footage, I'm gonna just scale it down a little bit and then I find it's helpful to actually navigate over to these like multiple lines icon and in clicking on that kind of just open this up a little bit you're gonna see um, this folder or sort of section called text and say this is a short film called the last road and you're gonna see that is gonna update in real time 
And I mean, you can technically go through and change the fonts. Uh, these were built with kind of a font in mind to kind of eliminate some of those style questions and aesthetics. So I, I tend to kind of leave the font, but it is fully customizable. Like I said, scale, the color, the spacing, it is really all up to you in terms of your taste. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up the final cut portion of the tutorial. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, yeah, I mean, basically just to recap, you're gonna want to install all the fonts. You're gonna wanna make sure you're updated to the latest version, 10.6 of Final Cut, and pretty much, you know, do that dot localize or that folder is not gonna talk to Final Cut. So diving into Final Cut, if you've just watched the tutorial on how to install and use our film titles volume two inside Final Cut, that video actually covers 95% of the process, uh, but there are a couple additional effects and sliders that were not covered in that tutorial. So just wanted to include this bonus video to quickly show you where those effects were, how to use them, and yeah, let's just dive right in. So yeah, very similar to the previous tutorial kind of walked you through, you're gonna wanna navigate over to titles, film titles volume two, and yeah, I'm just gonna pick one of these, we'll do number 12, and just kind of walk you through some of these additional effects and parameters. Uh, so navigating over to the top right, uh, all of the same things that were covered in the previous tutorial exist. Each of these little sections kind of allow you to adjust different things about the titles. So one thing I usually start with is scale. So just kind of scaling the title to taste, um, you know, navigating over to the actual area to edit the text. Um, if that little text bar doesn't pop up, just double click on the word you want to edit. So yeah, just double clicking on the word friendship. You can see that little text bar pops up. So change it to the name of your film or your project. But the area that we're really excited about is this area called Publish Parameters. And it's illuminated by that like kind of purple T icon. And here is something that's very unique to Film Titles Volume 2. It's all these built-in effects. Uh, ignore these dashed lines. We just kind of put those in there to like break up the uh, you know published parameters and make it a little more easier to navigate. But you're going to see we have flicker, shake, rack focus. And to simply just see what it looks like, you just hit that checkbox. And by, even by just scrubbing through the footage, you can see that the flicker is applied or the shake or rack focus. I will say these are kind of RAM intensive uh, for your like CPU or GPU. So you may need to like, you know, set an in and out point and render it to watch it very effectively by just checking the box. You might not notice your timeline is playing a little slower. So just wanted to mention that. And this next effect is the diffuse blur. This one does not have a check box, but by default, the mix is set to zero. And by bringing up the mix slider, it's kind of like turning on the check box. And by adjusting the amount, the angle and mix, you can really get some really uh, cool effects with this one. Um, just kind of dialing in these different sliders to your taste and your liking is uh, an effect that I think is really powerful. And one of the last effects is this one called Filmic Soft. This is one of my favorite effects. It's the most subtle, but I actually think it's the most realistic. Uh, typically, if you were to watch an old film, say shot in the 80s or 90s, where they actually shot on 35 millimeter film, the way the titles come across, you know, on the scanned negative, the, the titles tend to actually have like a softened look. And sometimes now in, you know, digital cameras, you know, these titles can kind of come in too crystal sharp and too crystal clear. So this Filmic Soft, by just checking that box and adjusting the slider or the amount to whatever is your sort of taste or liking, just kind of gives the title a little bit more of like a softer, or as the name of the effect would kind of denote, a Filmic Soft look. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up this tutorial. I hope this was very helpful for you guys. This is one of our favorite packs from Tropic Color. So we're excited for you guys to you know, dive in and try it out. If you do have any issues or bugs or glitches, don't hesitate. Our support team is there to help you. Uh, you can reach our support team at tropicolor at gmail.com. Otherwise, excited for you guys to use this product and yeah, keep creating. Welcome to the tutorial on how to use the Film Titles Pack inside of DaVinci Resolve. We've built this tutorial to kind of walk you through on how to install the fonts, import them into the correct folders, and how to navigate to the correct panels within DaVinci Resolve to where you can edit and manipulate any of our title templates. So for the rest of this tutorial, I'm gonna be in the lower right-hand corner kind of walking you through step-by-step. Step. I will say before getting started, I would recommend downloading the most recent version of DaVinci Resolve. 
It is a free software, so we are working with DaVinci Resolve 17. Uh, that will just kind of help your screen and your processes to look very similar to ours. If you're using an outdated version, your screen and interface might look a little bit different and it might make for some you know, unnecessary glitches. So take this moment, update DaVinci Resolve to the latest version and um, yeah, we'll, we'll jump right in. So once you're in DaVinci Resolve, you're gonna to wanna to navigate on the bottom panel, it says Fusion. It's got like a magic wand icon. Um, so you've got like a project, maybe this is like your clip. I'm gonna navigate, click the Fusion button. And with the effects uh, magic wand button selected here, you can kind of see where my mouse cursor is. You're gonna scroll over to where it says Templates and Edit. When you right click on Edit, it's gonna say Show Folder. And that's gonna show you basically kind of where it was or how to get there. In a PC, it'll probably be very similar. Obviously, Mac hierarchy is a little bit different, but it's gonna basically show you how you got there. So it's under library, application support, black, black magic design, and DaVinci Resolve. And then fusion, templates, edit, and titles. I'm gonna delete this folder for now because for a lot of people, sometimes, and it, it, I've kind of talked to a few other DaVinci Resolve users, there's a lot of people when you get to this point, it only shows this edit folder. So uh, if it said titles, great. Um, you can kind of continue once I catch up to that step, but I'm gonna build out the file hierarchy uh, in the event that when you get to it, your screen looks very similar to this. So you're in template, you're in edit, and I'm in this column view. I just feel like that makes things easier as far as this tutorial goes. So I'm gonna make a folder in this edit folder called titles. And then within titles, I'm gonna make another folder called film titles, uh, which is the name of this product that we're installing. So film titles, great. I'm also gonna just minimize DaVinci for a moment and navigate back over to the film titles folder that you guys downloaded and unzipped. Navigate to this DaVinci folder film titles, great. And now you see all these dot settings files. I'm gonna hold shift and click the last one and then right click and actually copy these. So you can see copy, you can also use the shortcut command C. And with this film titles folder selected, I'm gonna move, kind of click in this last column, I'm gonna paste. It's gonna paste all of these into that folder. Um, there's nothing more you have to do in, at this step. So you're just gonna exit out of here, exit out of here. And now you're gonna go back to DaVinci Resolve. You may have to close DaVinci Resolve out, so save your current project and reopen it. But for most instances on the computers I've tried this out on, it actually auto refreshes, which is really, really helpful. So I'm um, under the Fusion tab, you should see Edit, Titles, Film Titles. So you can now see that file hierarchy right within Resolve. But obviously chances are you're gonna be editing. So we're gonna you know, bounce out of this Fusion tab for a second and go over to Edit. It's uh, the timeline just to the left. So you've got your edit right here. Uh, maybe right at this moment is where you wanted to add the opening title to your music video or your short film, right? So over on the left-hand side, at least where it's appearing on my screen, your screen or your edit layout might be a little bit different, but you just wanna navigate over to Toolbox. So you can see Toolbox here and hit the down arrow. And basically under Toolbox, you're gonna see Titles. So you're gonna down arrow again, and now you're gonna see Film Titles. These are all the film titles that we just imported. Um, so what's really cool is when you click on one of these, it's actually gonna demo what it looks like in the, the preview window over here. So I'm really liking the way El Jefe looks. So I'm gonna drag this right above my footage. I'm gonna frame forward a little bit, cool. So now you've imported a title into Resolve. We've got the title imported into the film titles folder, and now we're ready to customize. I uh, just wanna kind of re-echo, if you're not seeing this, chances are you might still be in that Fusion tab at the bottom. Make sure you are in the Edit tab. So you're in here, which is great. And now I'm gonna hover over here. See on the right-hand side in the upper right-hand corner, now you have the option to change the text and manipulate this. So say this short film is called The Last Road. And I'm gonna kind of space it out, so cool. So that's looking pretty big. And that's, that's what's uh, kind of nice is there's a lot of different scaling parameters. So I'm gonna scale this down just a little bit. And you know what, maybe I like the way it looks like 
all in one line. Let's see how that looks. Let's scale that up. Very cool. And then, yeah, filmed by Tom Taher. Maybe I want to change this to, you know, tropic color. 